Now for something new to Channel 5, the home of quality entertainment. The inspiring true story of Amy Jo Webster and her rise to burlesque fame and gassy fortune. Hello. The Oxford Dictionary defines burping as the act or omitting of a said gas, a burp. One woman has redefined the way we see burping for the digital age. Curvaceous, vivacious, Elastic and super fantastic. This series, Follow Me, Mike Brand, on a story behind Britain's burpiest queen. Yes, that's right. We take a look at the life and times, friendships and lovers of Amy Webster. This is Burp Britannia. Maths are non-starter, sciences, poor to fair, English, potentially dyslexic, geography, great waps. I'm here at the old Stagbutt primary entrance, the formative education for Amy, and we all know about Amy's hard work ethic, so let's take a look now at some of her finest moments. You've caught me driving into a tunnel, and one tunnel that's always been open for business is Amy Webster's. Colloquially termed as the snapping turtle, Amy's been known for putting it about and shagging a lot of men. From bald-headed beefcakes to big hairy bastards, she's loved them all. Earlier this week, we caught up with one of Amy's jilted ex-lovers. We now turn to Gat Mudwin of Digital Cinema Media. Amy W. It's a name that still rings a bell in my head. I remember a few times I was tapping away on the keyboard. And she'd go up to the water cooler and just press that button so gently but so firmly. Oh, Amy W. And it progressed from there, really. I floated my eyes over to her, she floated us back. We shared a coffee, same mug, same side. Of course I took her to the cinema, she bought the popcorn, I got the tickets, and it went on. It's back to hers, fourth base, first night. And my lord, the moves that girl could pull. They say she's a dancer, but I didn't know you could do that sort of things with your legs. And it was about a month to two months in. At night I was startled, awoken. She just kept saying the one word, rag. I soothed myself back to sleep that night with a whole lips and some Vicks vapor rub, but it carried on for weeks on end. And I could deal with it at first. It was until one night she went into the bathroom and got my shaver. I woke up to find my head bald. She was modeling me like him, and this was just too far. And she was taken out of my face. And it was never the same after that. Amy W. Few would have imagined that we would travel back through time for somebody's leaving do, and yet, here we are. A young Amy Webster. Confused as always. But I think what you're really going to realise is that Amy was born to be a star, and not just an eating cake. How's that cake looking, Amy? Pretty tasty, I'm sure you'll agree. Do you remember the cake, Amy? It was a sponge. Let's now speak to her agent, who'll tell us more. Remember, Amy, when Gareth comes round, Say no, you're a beautiful woman and you don't need his respect. The first time that I met Amy was uh, about two years ago now. They, uh, she came into my office, she was a double act with a girl called, uh, it was Jerry Ann Woo Woo and uh, and Brazen Bijou and they came in as a double act. So. Straight away, I put him to the uh, to the test, and I took him to a, a little lap club called um, Strawberry Moon, and I made them reenact the sequence that Jennifer Connelly made famous in Requiem for Dream, the Astuas, and um, and I could just see the brazen Bridget was just shining, you know. I, we, I think the crowds were chanting off with woo woo, in with Bijou, um, and from then I just knew that it was it was going to be a one woman show, and I was going to take Bijou. 
the crowd were going wild for her, you know, kind of kick up in no time. And I remember that night my industry friends were saying, it is all about the bijou and none of the woo woo. So from there she was frozen bijou, the solo star. Uh, you know, I'm actually running late now. I've got another client coming in a moment. Can we, can we cut this short? We're going to have to cut this short. I'm really sorry, but we've got a client coming in. What a story. And what a wild ride through the life of Amy Webster. Join me, Mike Brand, next week for Curly Curly Ain't Life Curly, the Claire Reno story. Until then, Amy, nobody does it better than you, kid. Good night.